<laughs> Let's wear some art. One of the more fun things that you could do as an artist is put it on your clothes. I mean, I've got paint and stuff all the time on my clothes unintentionally, so we're going to use that as a theme. And what I have here is a transfer paper that you can get to work with inkjets, and then you iron it onto a t-shirt, but instead of doing it with an inkjet, we're going to draw on it. So I'm going to start off drawing with a, a beeswax crayon. All right, and a lot of times too, I kind of like the idea of things in circles. So when your mom or dad aren't in the kitchen making you pasta, grab one of the lids. make a circle and it kind of contains the design. Um, I find that appealing. Okay, so here's our crayon. And then these are gel crayons. They're really soft and so they go on very quickly. So I can fill in some of the background. And you can get it to smear a bit with your finger. Now the one thing you want to do is make sure that you have nice soft materials to work with because you don't want to scratch the coating on the paper which is the thing that makes the magic. Uh, I can use connector pen here. Maybe we'll... So I'm not using a lot of pressure. I'm not really digging down there. I'm letting it glide across the surface again to protect this coating. Um, I can do some watercolor. Let's... So I think you get the picture here. All right. So when you've completed it to your satisfaction, then it's just a matter of cutting it. And you want to cut maybe a quarter of an inch all the way around any part that you've, you've drawn. And I'm going to put this off to the side because I've actually completed one that I thought was a little cheerier. And again, with the pig theme, I took some scrap pieces. I used the scrap pieces as well as the main part. And I took some watercolor and I tried to make it look a little bit like mustard and ketchup. So that way, when I'm eating a hot dog, I don't have to be real careful. I can say, oh, it's part of the art project. And then I also sometimes make little extra characters because I like thinking about putting images on the sleeves as well as on the front part of the shirt. So what we'll do is come over. Now, for this part, you want to make sure that you are the creative genius that are making these images and cutting them out and you let a responsible adult handle the hot iron because we don't want anybody to get hurt with this. And so this is a hard surface that has, a, all right. And now I'm gonna place this where I need it, but you wanna make sure that you're Responsible adult is helping you with this. Again, we don't want anybody to get hurt in the making of your fabulous fashion. So this is on the hottest setting. I'm using 100% cotton. All right, and now I'm going to put, oops, some mustard on my sleeve. Now, the one thing to remember, too, I'm reversing the image. So if you do include any numbers or letters, you have to write those backwards. Because when I peel these things off, it's going to reverse how I drew them. All right. And quickly, let's put, let's put the ketchup up here. I think, my gosh. Boy, was he eating with great enthusiasm to get it up there. Okay. And I have this other little guy. I don't want him to feel left out, so I'll put him on that sleeve. 
All right, he probably needs a little more ironing, but let's see. Now I gotta peel him off. Voila. There's my stain. And here's my other piece. My character. And the finish. So you may wear your art with pride, and that is your art tip for today.